I'm over the getting soft thing. Let me ask you that we no longer in America allow people to work for 17 hours a day in a factory at 85 degrees. Are we getting soft or did we get smarter? That we've reduced and restricted fraternities in America because of hazing deaths and alcohol-related deaths. Are we getting soft in America or are we finally concerned about 17 and 18 year old kids in fraternities. I don't buy getting soft. We have camps in America. There's the camp that's like, hey, I like the old days. You know, dad could beat the kid into submission. And then there's the smart people who go, we should probably treat people better. Myself, I don't believe in reincarnation and I don't know if there's a heaven. I'm here once. I'd like to treat other people well, and hopefully they treat me well. And it starts with the NFL and bodies, and Clay Matthews is outraged because every time he hits somebody, they call a penalty. And I would say this, learn to tackle better. Quit complaining. I've been hearing about this for years in all four sports. In the NBA, you can't tackle people. The good news is skill in basketball is now rewarded. You have to be able to shoot to play. What do you know? In hockey, tough guys are gone. Clutching, grabbing, gone. Skill in hockey is emphasized. Translation, tickets are expensive. Stars flourish. And in the NFL, you can't violently jam your 278 pounds on a quarterback. Translation, skill, stars are emphasized. Don't like it when you're 15? Try to be a quarterback, a left tackle, a wide receiver, a running back. This idea that America is getting soft, the NFL is going in the right direction. How do I know it's the right direction? Did you watch the Green Bay Packers when Aaron Rodgers wasn't there last year? They were the Cleveland Browns. Did you watch the Cleveland Browns this past Thursday? Highest rated Cleveland Brown game in years. Why? Because they had a quarterback. We're not watching for tackles. Fantasy sports rewards offensive players. We're getting smarter. We're not getting softer. By the way, the number one commodity in the NFL is the Dallas Cowboys. In 2014, they were like uh, 12 and 4. The next year, Tony Romo got hit or hurt. They were 4 and 12, and they were totally unwatchable. The same fans that yell and scream, we're getting soft. We're getting soft. You're the same fan that screams when LeBron James takes a regular season game off. I paid to see LeBron James. Oh, wait, excuse me, stars matter. So you don't want LeBron James taking a regular season game off. You want to tickets in sports have never been more expensive. We've never asked more of the typical American fan to pay more for tickets. Do you want to go and watch Brett Hundley or do you want to go and watch Aaron Rodgers? I got nothing against Clay Matthews, but pilots have to be retrained. Surgeons and mechanics have to be retrained. Why is he getting all the penalties? There's a reason Hollywood has stunt men. So Tom Hanks and Denzel don't get hurt. You ever go to a play? The worst thing you can hear is playing the Phantom of the Opera tonight is the understudy. Okay, there's a reason yesterday that Tiger Woods ratings were up 250% because 95% of the guys on the tour, when you're paying that expensive PGA pass, you couldn't give a rip about. Stars matter. The NFL is trying to protect them the same way we're trying to protect factory workers, the same way we're trying to protect 18-year-old boys in fraternities and men and women in the military. There's, it's like there's two, camp, there's two camps in America. I'm glad I'm on the right one, which is I don't believe in reincarnation and I don't know what happens after I die. So the body I have and the bodies of my kids and the bodies of my friends and my wives, let's treat them better. Let's not drive them into the ground. This is a rule that should have been emphasized 25 years ago. Go to YouTube and watch Terry Bradshaw and Joe Montana and Troy Aikman being driven into the ground. Yeah, they're probably overcalling it right now. That's okay. But if you're a guy that can't evolve and you think we're getting soft here and you're constantly concerned that your manhood's being challenged, wake up. Hockey, baseball, you can't run over the catcher anymore. What was the value of that? You can't bulldoze over a second baseman anymore in baseball. Hockey, the goons are gone. Now you get, you know, great players making the Stanley Cup final. In the NBA, no more tackling people. Can't shoot, can't play. 
It's the way it should be. I don't, I don't go to watch guys get tackled. I go to watch guys make great offensive plays. I pay to watch Kobe. I pay to watch LeBron. I pay to watch Steph. I don't pay to watch a power forward who gets nine rebounds and tackles people. New England Patriots aren't good. Not a shock. I said before this season, I'll say it again. I just don't think they have perimeter skill. I don't think they're dynamic enough. I just don't see it. I mean, they're a top 10 team because coaching and quarterback play matters. But did you watch them last night? That took them their fourth drive in the second quarter to get a first down. Josh Gordon wasn't a cagey move. Josh Gordon was absolute desperation by the Patriots. I mean, two for nine on third down, 12 first downs, 120 yards passing, 4.3 yards a pass, and they only had the ball for 21 minutes. If you're Tom Brady, I got a question. Pretend for a second you're Tom Brady. I know it's hard. Super Mono Life, $500 million in net worth, eight Super Bowls. But pretend you're Tom Brady for a second. You're looking around at your team. You don't pay anybody. You're taking pay cuts. Is Tom Brady ever going, where's the money going here? Anybody thought about that? The L.A. Rams are apparently using a bank in Zurich that prints money, and the Patriots are using a credit union that's tapped. Because Gronk makes pretty good money. Devin McCourty makes pretty good money. Stephon Gilmer makes pretty good money. But who are they paying? It reminds me of that movie Casino, where they're just people are just dropping their wallets on the table as you go downstairs and they're skimming it, and somebody's getting a bag full of money and driving off downtown. Where's the money going? Where are the players? Kansas City Chiefs are paying people. The Rams are paying people. I'm watching Pittsburgh's paying all sorts of people. Does Brady ever look around and go, time out? I'm the best quarterback that's ever played. I'm taking a pay cut. The New England Patriots kick, kicker, the kicker is a bigger cap hit than any of their receivers and any of their backs. You wonder why Brady and Belichick's relationship's gone south. Maybe that's it. If you keep telling the world's best football player to, to keep taking pay cuts, and he looks around, and I got Philip Dorsett at receiver who was a bust in Indy. Uh, Cordell Patterson is a return guy. I mean, Josh Gordon is a complete desperation move. He wasn't even on heads last night. Brand new guy trying to learn the playbook. He's wandering around the sidelines. Wouldn't you have an earpiece in? Wouldn't you be listening to the calls? Wouldn't you be trying to figure out the offense? You got Chris Hogan, who, you know, is Chris Hogan. Oh, I got Julian Edelman off an ACL, suspended for a month. And then there's Gronk, who's got nine guys from Detroit draped all over him on every play. I mean, at some point... Where's the money going? <laughs> it feels like a casino in the 60s. Somebody's pulling up to a, the money pit downstairs, getting a bag full of it and driving off. Where are the profits? Belichick's a defensive guy. He's willing to pay McCourty a little and Stefan Gilmore and Dante Hightower. The backs, it's Walmart. The receivers, it's Target. The offensive line, it's below that. They won't pay a left tackle. They won't play a back. They won't pay a receiver. I mean, good luck. In fact, Brady talked about this after the game. I, I, this is a word that can drive me crazy because I do believe in execution. I do believe in football. Execution is a really important thing. But I also think talent's a really important thing. The Jags' defense, they pay money for it. It's talent. And the Steelers' offense is great, and they pay for it. And Kansas City's offense and the Rams, you know, you got to pay for things in life, right? You can't pay seven grand and drive off with a Bentley. You know, you're not going to pay for a top stake, $9. You got to pay for some stuff in life. Execution can't be the answer to everything. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.